In a unanimous decision, the appeal court has upheld Justice Roxanne George's decision affirming President David Granger's unilateral appointment of retired Justice James Patterson as chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission. Acting Chancellor of the Judiciary, Justice Yonet Cummings Edwards, and fellow appellate justices Don Gregory and Rishi Passad all agreed that his appointment was not unconstitutional, saying the president was empowered to appoint a judge, retire judge, or someone with the qualifications if he judged the opposition leader's list unacceptable. Justice Don Gregory in her decision said that the three lists of six persons as submitted by the opposition leader was not a means of consensus as the president should have been engaged. She said the manner in which the lists were submitted was not reasonable. The Attorney General reacting to today's ruling meanwhile held that both the President and his acts have immunity, saying the appointment of Jacob Chair is Mr. Granger's decision. The Chancellor had earlier ruled that the President's acts were not immune. We can't have you personally exempted and your acts personally, but then any Tom, Dick and Harry could go to a court and carry your acts and attempt to examine and dissect them are you not present? So how could it, how could you bifurcate the immunity like that? And it's not that the president is above the law. Attorney for the applicant Zulfikar Mustafa and Nandlal says that he will take the case all the way to the Caribbean Court of Justice. I am disappointed, but not surprised. This is yet another case that shows how far more our judiciary has to mature because it is part of a trend all the cases of a, that are deeply political are decided in a particular way. The PPP was seeking to have the court reverse the acting Chief Justice's June 8 ruling, which came after the PPP Executive Secretary filed his case in October last year. The PPP had argued that the retired judge was unqualified for the post and had petitioned the court to order the president to choose a person from the 80 names submitted by Mr. Jagdio. No court costs were awarded after today's decision. Shemuel Fanfare, The Evening News.